In terms of your testing strategy, I have strong belief that there are only two kinds of tests that work, that matter. Baki sub tests are part of your preparation zone uh, where you are doing your uh, group of chapter tests or a special question type test. Suppose you are doing a test on fill in the blanks or you are doing a test on time speed distance in maths. It has a practice element of course, but the feedback element is not very strong there because you anyway know whether you are good at fill in the blanks or time speed distance or not. So taking a test there and wasting your time on chapter tests and question type tests uh, is not worth it. Your test taking time which is precious. So there are only two types of tests that matter once you hit the test zone. Of course at Mindworks we also have something called CAT scans which is a measure of how close you are to perfection in a particular area that we do along with these. In our test series we have got three structures basically but broadly you need to be very careful about our section test and the analysis of the section test and the full length test. Don't ignore section test that's the big message from here and uh, I typically tell people you do a minimum of 10 section tests per section and when you're doing a section test your analysis of the test is also very important not just for section test also for mock test so what should you analyze both in the section test minimum 10 uh, section tests on quants 10 section tests on di lr and 10 section tests on verbal and you convert that into a 30 question uh, 30 sections or 30 mocks overall minimum so that is your minimum testing if you can do more than that it's good but 30 tests plus 10 section tests should take care of you reaching your potential and also expanding your potential. Mm -hmm.